MPC Beats workflow makes it really fun and intuitive to make beats. So the first thing we need to do is start off with an empty sequence. So let's go to an unused sequence and then let's name that, we'll call this new beat. Now let's make our beat four bars long and we have our loop mode enabled so our beat will continually loop around. Now let's enter a tempo, 140 BPM and now we go to our first track. This is a drum track. So let's call this drums. Now below this we go to our program and we select our drum program which is called Lo-Fi Kit. This has now loaded our drum kit directly onto our 16 pads. Now to play our drum kit, let's use our controller keyboard. Now our pads are playing the first eight samples. If we press bank B, we can now play the upper eight samples. So now we're gonna record our beat. The first thing I'm gonna do is turn on my quantize and I'm gonna set my time division to 1 16th. This means anything I record is gonna be in time. So let's hit record on our transport control and start with a melodic. Let's use our control knob so we can zoom out and see our entire grid. Now let's go to bank A where our kick and snare and a hi-hat is. Now that we've recorded our idea, let's use note repeat and then we can add some triplets to our hi-hats. We change our time division to 132 triplet. And now you can hear the rolls. Now that's recorded, let's turn note repeat off and let's add some additional drum parts. Now let's go to bank B and we'll add some percussion and some vocal elements. Now let's add an 808 bass line. Let's select a sound and then we're gonna select 16 levels. This will chromatically tune the sound across all 16 of our drum pads. This is a fast way to add bass lines to your beats. Now let's go to track two and add a piano. This is from the F9 instrument Beats Edition that comes free with MPC Beats. Now let's add a Rhodes. And now we'll finish our track with a top melody.